the 2007 Peace Prize to Al Gore and the IPCC. And I hope this year's winner of the Nobel Peace Prize will carry forward the philosophy of doing something about climate change. But we'll find out. How would climate change impacts adversely affect business? Well, there will be many more floods, there will be many more droughts, there will be many more heat waves, extreme precipitation events, and each of these has a major economic impact. And each of these would require business to take actions by which it can adapt to these circumstances. Sea level rise, for instance. You know very well that a large number of industrialist establishments and businesses are located in coastal areas. And therefore, they are extremely vulnerable to the problem of sea level rise. More and more goods and services were able to use fuels, fossil fuels like coal, then moved on to oil and natural gas. And in that process, we never really realized the impact that we are going to create on the planet's climate and the stability of that climate system. So as a result, we brought about the problem of climate change today. But having achieved these three major transformations in the past, I think today we are faced with the opportunity, the exciting journey of being able to bring about a transformation in a totally different direction. A transformation that would bring us back close to nature and a transformation by which those very sources of energy which we have neglected, neglected for so long but have been available and indeed which have been tapped very successfully in countries like Denmark are now going to be the foundation of human civilization and the power by which we are able to move ahead.